That jam was a real uh, sound that year during Big Brother Niger uh, season. I said that year during Tasha's uh, time. That thing was really, really, that thing, that song there was catching and uh, they caught a lot of people's attention. So David Doe just recently liked that post. That Tasha did para. Tasha para. She said, Low L O L dude must really think this is 2018, bruh. It's big 2024. Now them rush go more bad candle night oh, but they are beggars bodies. They are bigger bodies. It's not me. Big 24. We call out any mega BS. Nobody they feed anybody. You know, Tacha is already supporting Tiwasabi. Over the issue that she is having with uh, 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 David Doe. And this is it, guys. Let me see. Tacha and uh, David Doe has the, have their own personal beef. So nobody should ever expect Tacha not to support Tiwasabi. Tiwasabi are really, really, really supportive. So please, uh, you people shouldn't make this fight against boys and men. Because you guys are not really, really uh, in the position. Tacha is not in the position to say whatever is wrong between Tiwasabi and that we don't let let us get that straight. Tacha was a former die-hard fan of David Doe. She even draw tattoo for her chest. When they show the world, can you imagine? But now she says she has removed the tattoo because David Doe no pay attention to her. David Doe never paid attention to Tacha. Maybe she was angry, and that, that David Doe really, really, really pay attention to her or, or something, something like that. And they're so far so good. About that, that he was savage and uh, David Doe matter. The text message, the chat between T was savage and David Doe are out. I already posted a video on uh, Adam's link, and honestly speaking, uh, the way I see that message, uh, the message no interfere, no point to the fact that say David Doe insult or they discriminate uh, T was savage. Let us make that straight. Except there are other messages that have not been released yet. So I will not make my conclusion on their issues. No, I won't make that conclusion because I believe, I believe Tiwa Savage cannot just go and petition uh, David Doe without any proof, without tangible things other than that message, that text message, that, that chat between Tiwa Savage and David Doe that, that was released. And that was the chat, guys. David Doe reached out to Tiwa Savage with a post on Insta, uh, Insta blog when uh, Sofia Momodou exposed the chat, the message that uh, Imade sent to her. That Imade was disappointed that his father is not there. So, so David does send the, uh, the photo to David, uh, to Tiba Savage to please talk to Sofia Momodou. Tiba Savage said, can I call you? David Doe responded that I'm currently in Dubai and I'm not around if I come back. Then the next thing I saw, the next time was that Tiba Sabe insulting David Doe. Call and say, go. He said, God will punish you. You were you the mad for it. Don't try him again. Then David Doe responded and said, keep my son's name out of your mouth. I'm respecting you because of Jamil. Then Tiba Sabe said, try it again. Just try it. Whenever you see me in Lagos, try it. That was what I saw, and I think there are some messages that are missing. That are missing, so they should release everything before we start concluding and talking. I mean, why Tasha also said, is the audacity for me when a man has God complex? What do you expect, Lo? Take up somebody your size for once, or God bra. Don't take concern you for that matter, Tasha. Eh? Well, it's a public matter, though. She's uh, allowed to intervene, interfere, and talk her own mind since it's a public uh, matter. You know? Everyone is allowed now. But, guys, let me know how soon I feel for that matter between uh, Davido and uh, Tiwa Savage. I think it's a simple matter they, they can handle. And uh, the whole issue doesn't necessarily have to be with uh, between uh, Davido and uh, Tiwa Savage. 
be between Sophia and David, though. Now, Sophia be the bone of contention here. And I still think she was savage. Huh? I think maybe she regards herself as a family member. That is why she is intervening. I still do think that she was savage. You see why they say, mind your whole problem. You see why they say, face your problem. If you don't face your problem, then we put you in the center of the conversation. Face your problem. If I was still a savage, I would have faced my own problem since. I would not be talking. I would just be laughing with this one, laughing with this one, saying it's okay. But if somebody bring me issue and say, please intervene, I will tell that person straight ahead. See, I am friends with you. I am friends. I'm friends with you. I'm friends with this. Please, if you guys have your own personal problem, do not bring it to me. Because I don't want to disrespect this one. I also disrespect this one. And like I've said before, with all those vlogging things we are doing at Cash and Cruiser, eh, there are a lot of things to learn from it. Tiwa Savage won't get a lot of, uh, like, if you check this whole issue, you should know that whenever you have two friends who are fighting, who are close, who are fighting each other, and they meet you for any talk, always tell them that, see, I am friends with you. I am friends with you. And you guys were in a relationship. If you have any matter that concerns you both, don't bring it to me. Because I wouldn't want to judge. Because I don't want to disrespect this one. I also disrespect this one. Simple and short. Don't intervene. If not, Tiva Savage, they're not going to disrespect Tiva Savage, a 43 years old woman. They will not go disrespect and reach this extent. No. That's just the whole matter here. Now, Sophia Momo, they see that they say the matter. Now, they make a life one hard for David Doe for, 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 for her daughter uh, issues. Then that be said, let's talk about T.B. Joshua. There have really been some uh, testimonies from people, including G. Mike himself. Like uh, the other day, Victor A.D. posted something and he said his own part about T.B. Joshua. I said T.B. Joshua assisted him very, very well. That is what I'm saying. If you know T.B. Joshua have assisted you and all he, he has wronged you, come outside and talk. This is the only time for you to come outside and talk. He has assisted many, and apparently, he has also wronged a lot of human beings. Hmm? He has assisted many, and apparently, he has also wronged a lot of human beings. So they are all coming out to talk now. And Victor A.D., which I'm trying to get his, uh, his uh, message or about... Uh, TB Joshua now. Sorry guys, just bear with me. I'm trying to read this me the, the message is sent out about a TB Joshua and how he TB Joshua assisted me. He said, Prophet TB Joshua fake. Person where God used heal me from skin disease at the age of six years old. Restored my mom's hand that was supposed to be amputated due to gunshot wound. Or is it my sister that got healed from blindness during her primary school days? So many wonderful deeds. Which of these are fake or stage? When my family and I were homeless, he gave us shelter and fed us. God is not a man. Say whatever you like. He no go change God from being God. That is coming from Victor A.D. You know, it's good to give your own testimony. And let, let me also point this out. According to one of T.B. Joshua's disciples, he said that whenever they bring any patient, anybody that is suffering anything, if they have special doctors that we, uh, that we uh, examine that person. And that people will be staying in their camp. They will examine that person. That person will stay in their camp and they will be giving that person medications. Medications. They'll be giving that person medications because it's what medicine can heal. There are some blindness that, that that can be curable. There are skin disease, yes, that can be curable. If they give you God wound and you know treat them, they can amputate it or they will quickly, quickly nurse that wound and it's cured. You understand? Sometimes when all miracles or everything are miracles, we do not understand. What medication can work than a miracle? All miracles are miracles. If you wake up in the morning, it's a miracle. If you eat, if you can eat, swallow food, it's a miracle. 
but there are some really really what we call miracle like like you your head your your leg the roti and doctor will just heal it and everything you don't go see the the rottiness again that is a miracle but something that in not just over time over time over time over time with medication it's also so something it's also something that kind of medicine but all wisdom comes from god hmm? so the 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 that are supposed to say they they treat these people with medications for months then after discovering that they are getting healed they can be healed the doctor have said ah this person is getting healed they will bring that person to church and cast a bind that cast a bind before you know it the person will be healed or maybe or maybe if doctor don't determine say this is not a critical matter they will quickly bring that person to the church and pray for that person to heal then if that person can a little bit work they'll take that person back to the center to treat to continue the communication until he heals then later on after that person has seen the person will come and give testimony and so 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 and so but all the same the man was doing good as well pay for people medication and feeding them well that being said victor ad was six years old and uh he couldn't really remember how what happened whether they were in this campsite but other people should still be coming out to give their testimony. Their testimony is needed. Hmm? Now let's uh, post. Uh, let's post. Let's check out what G Mike have to say. You know, G Mike was one of those act actors that accidentally found himself at TB Joshua. G Mike took his mom to TB Joshua to heal. At the end of the day, something, something at uh, Apotora. So people thought that the whole synagogue thing mm. was a stunt. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Um, you know, that is part of why I withered. Um, I didn't only, when Orthodox medicine failed us, I mean, from Luton, I took my whole family to India to be with my mom, mm -hmm. and then she started getting better. This is the light of your life, mom, for crying out loud. You just described I'm it. not going to wager it for, for theatrics, for mm -hmm. melodrama. Mm -hmm. And at some point, an offer was made from there. Right. to take him there right. by um by a, a senator friend of mine he said right. so i refused right. so you know my sisters you know when you're in a family so they had a meeting plus my dad said if anything happens to my wife is on your head mm -hmm. the pressure was too much so okay i want to go mm -hmm. if they will save her i will go. go so they told us put her in a hospital i'm telling you this thing how it works if they want to refute it let them come back mm -hmm. they put on we put her in a hospital close them and I went there, there was a presidential suit I was, I was accorded. When I went there, I'm like, okay, let's get started with this. And they said, I must come down to the, to the service. I said, I don't have to come down to the service. You people promised me, like, does God need me to, you know? Yes, I'm skeptical. Yes, I've, I've shown people a great degree of cynicism. But do it, and they made me a believer. Yeah. I will live in this church for two years if you, if if you heal my mom. So after a while, again, the meeting, like, you need to come down. Da, da, da. I remember I was in there. My sister was behind me when they, this guy came. I was doing stuff. When he crossed me, I, I, I chuckled. Which guy? The, the late? The guy, was, no, not him. Okay, some a guy other guy. Was, he didn't there. conduct a person. Right. That, that's the one of the parties. Yes. Right. That, I chuckled. My sister said, stop laughing. This thing is serious. I don't want them to see you laughing. Then he came back to me. My brother, I don't know what happened after that. This world is deep. There's a certain mm. spirituality I've come to understand about this world that is way beyond us. Mm. Um, what happened, I don't know. I saw the video, I said, that's not me, but that's me. Mm. My brother, you must understand that I am not an island of knowledge. Mm. I've done my part. But the one thing that is of a truth that you can take to the bank is that till I die, I'm the true son of Gladys. Mm. And I will never, ever wager or waver her memory and her legacy by telling a lie. I've said it time and again, if everything I'm saying is not true, let somebody come out, show proof that you gave me. How much are you going to give me that I've not seen to play with my mom's life? My mom was lying in a hospital. So, J. Mike went there because of his mom. Apparently, they have a hospital. In the church as well which is nice which is nice there's a hospital there doctors as well everything some people don't feel like everything miracle 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 you have to know huh if it's me if i have a church or a church of course i'm going to have a church there so that it's going to protect some uh, people to know the case and everything because there's some sickness that can be healed with just mere medication 
There are some sickness that can be healed with surgery. And those people, poor people, do not have money for it. Or they do not have access to those special, uh, 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 specialists. And if I have money as a doctor, I'm going to, as a, as a, as a, as a pastor, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring the specialist to treat all those people. But they say miracle, those kind of things. People should come out to give their testimonies. Hmm? There's a lot of uh, crazy stuff said about this man. And there's a lot of crazy testimonies as well. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, they're just going to let it go like that. Because they say they want to collect money. They want to do this. They want to do that. They want to do this. People are saying that some of the members who are confessing are lying. All those kind of thoughts. They are being bright. There's too many other things that are going on. Like this woman who also gave a testimony, a, a, a statement against TB Joshua. Somebody said, somebody said, apparently, CBC was paid to say the things she did on the court of uh, TB Joshua. It is alleged she liked seducing men and liked Terry some. Check screenshot. Someone wrote something about the woman. You know, do not laugh about anybody's case and do not bring any owl chats. Do not bring any out chat that are fake because you are trying to tarnish someone's image. Please be careful because God will hold you responsible for what whatsoever you are doing if they are actual victims and if they are not really actual because even though the matter are true or not be true, you were not there. You were not there when it happened. You cannot just say, oh, I know, I know, I was there. You can just say whatever you know, whatever the man has done for you and keep quiet like what I've said. What I know TB Joshua have done for a lot of people is epidemic and epidemic and the church that collapsed. That's what I know. 